Hi guys, it is a nice gloomy rainy day here in the drought plagued and flood ravaged wasteland of South Austin, Texas. We have made it to Sunday, I think this says October 27th, 2013, somewhere around there. Anyway guys, this is just a part two, like an amplification of my little rant yesterday, my latest one of these chemtrail wacko rants that I had yesterday. I'll put the link to it. Uh, I was on my way yesterday to a JFK panel dis discussion in Austin uh, where five out of five people on the panel uh, carrying the company line of the magic bullet single shooter theory so that's what I had to run off to yesterday to that horseship. That's a whole nother rant uh, about those uh, <laughs> conspiracy theorists. But let's get back to chemtrails. I will put the link to my rant yesterday, which I think is called U.S. Military Officially Admits Spraying Chemtrails. But I'm going to revisit this uh, article that I talked about there yesterday out of Live Science magazine that came to our attention on Friday at Yahoo Mail. I mean, Yahoo News. Good old Yahoo News. The mainstream media finally, finally vindicating uh, the, the chemtrail conspiracy theorist or in my case the chemtrail conspiracy factist I am a conspiracy factist that I need a little bit more evidence uh, than some of these chemtrail uh, conspiracy theorists need but anyway once again, just to return to this article entitled Mystery Radar Blob Reveals Odd Man-Made Phenomenon and it was talking about where I guess the again, I'm going to put the link to the article into my I'm just not going to repeat my rant from yesterday but what I, I'm just going to revisit a few of these things in paragraph 3 um uh, so what they're trying to do is explain the mystery. Uh, the, these weathermen, these meteorologists, were trying to figure out the great mystery of why what looked like a thunderstorm on their radar spreading out over, this is in Alabama uh, earlier this year, trying to uh, figure out what this weird thing is. And uh, so what they talk about in paragraph three, as I mentioned yesterday, is these conspiracy theories, these ha-ha, wacko conspiracy theories. theories, theories. Now, now just, so you, it, just in case you don't understand what the conspiracy theorist and the conspiracy factist, such as myself, the, the overarching thing that we have been saying for years and years is claiming that the U.S. military is taking airplanes up into the air and spraying uh, this shit into the air, the main component of which is aluminum and that these things, they spray these things, they hang in the air, they plume out, they spread out, and they hang in the air for hours and hours. Well, and, and eventually, where do you think this shit goes? It goes back down onto the ground. This is where all of us conspiracy factists, this is the the argument that we all agree on. Then there's all of these wacko conspiracy theories jumping off from that. This is what we all agree on. That these airplanes are clearly up there dumping aluminum uh, into our skies. And uh, then it goes from there. So what they talk about 
And paragraph three is the same thing that I have had rants about, about these wacko conspiracy theorists trying, in this case, trying to link chemtrails to harp. And, and, and I have had a rant that I don't subscribe to this. And there's also the one that I've had a rant about these conspiracies, wacko conspiracy theorists claiming uh, that Monsanto is the one spraying all of this aluminum uh, in the air so it's going to fill up the soils with aluminum so they can bring out their genetically modified aluminum resistant seeds. I think this is a wacko conspiracy theory. However, I will say that it would not surprise me one bit if Monsanto is not developing aluminum resistant genetically modified seeds. Monsanto is a lot of things, but they are not stupid. They understand, as these conspiracy factors do, that, that all of this shit, that a bunch of this aluminum is being dumped into the atmosphere and that aluminum is piling up. Uh, and where we're supposed to be growing our food and it, and it, and it would I would be surprised if Monsanto is not developing aluminum resistant uh, seeds especially after reading this story right here in LiveScience.com so anyway so this is what they're talking about in paragraph three of this story is is all they're scratching their heads what could be causing this and it goes on I don't even know what paragraph but you have to get way down in the article almost to the where the end is inside of this article and what do you find in the mainstream media you find the mainstream media sounding exactly like the chemtrail conspiracy factist after they're laughing about the, con the, the chemtrail conspiracy wackos in the third paragraph you get to about the tenth paragraph and you have the mainstream media sounding just like the conspiracy theorists that they're laughing about higher up the article and so they're not talking about harp at this point they're talking about and for those of you who missed my rant yesterday I don't want to take the five minutes to take it off to read this article first uh, you know they're, they're talking about these uh, these clouds the these these contrails coming out of the back of airplanes pluming out I think is they're uh, pluming out and in this case in this in this particular case hanging in the air for nine hours the airplanes spraying this stuff up it's pluming out and hanging in the air for nine hours and then they finally get to the point which should have been the first sentence of the article instead of the third to the last sentence of the article okay and quote once again for people who did not hear me yesterday quote this is, this is an inner this quote is from a meteorologist a weatherman officially redstone arsenal this is this military base in in uh, alabama officially redstone arsenal disclosed that the, this 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 chemtrail at this particular point this plume was a military test using rr-188 military chaff having said referring to aircraft used to spread a cloud of aluminum coated silica in this case, uh, this RR-188 chaff, what, 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 chaff that I'll have, which I'll talk about in, in a minute here as I dig deeper into this mainstream media story. Guys, if, if, if this weatherman uh, had been so concerned about figuring out what the hell are these 
crazy things, putting out uh, the, these false radar returns and all of this stuff. They could have called Hambone Little Tail. I would have told them what I figured it was. Alex Jones would have said the same thing. Anyone with a brain, as I mentioned yesterday, I can't remember which years old chemtrail documentary this is. I think what in the world they're saying they have this weatherman from Oregon up there years ago on, uh, on the local TV station pointing to these false radar returns years ago and he and he's saying on the local newscast guys this is not rain this is military aircraft spraying uh, these chemtrails and and I believe he ended up getting fired but don't quote me on, on, on that one I think he ended up getting fired so anyway for years uh, they have been th these wacko conspiracy theorist uh, documentaries being laughed at by the mainstream media and 95% and of the population out there laughing along with the mainstream media. And, and here is the mainstream media sounding exactly like, exactly like one of these chemtrail uh, conspiracy factists. The fact now, now 100% admitted in the mainstream media, the, the facts of the matter are that U.S. military aircraft are going up into the atmosphere above our heads and spraying out this shit. Uh, and, and the old doomsday prophet, I have been predicting that uh, you will say... At least for at least for the past year, and I believe for two years, I have pre been predicting that you will start to see chemtrails creeping into the mainstream media. Now, my particular uh, theory is that these chemtrails are are being used to combat global warming, that this aluminum and this barium are reflective materials. That will be, you know, that they will use to to reflect sunlight back. What works for radar uh, should work for sunlight. And I'm still, and this in no way, guys, in no way swerves me off of this. I, I'm still predicting that the that in the mainstream media, in, in over. <laughs> the next few years, you are going to see it coming out that that various whoever's have been spraying this stuff uh, for to fight global warming and all other reasons. Uh, I, I think that this is just th this is just the one chemtrail that the mainstream media. It's kind of like you know. It's, I'm predicting there's going to be more kinds of chemtrails than even than, than even this doomsday prophet ever imagined. It's like as guys, you know, I've got a flock of eleven chickens. I can see them. These these eleven chickens. So anybody would say. What, what you got over there? Well, anybody would look at there and say it's a flock of chickens, which is true. But if you start looking a little closer, it's all different kinds of chickens. We probably have seven different, I'm guessing there's about seven different varieties of chickens in our flock of 11 chickens. And my guess is if, if, if we, we had a chance to go up there and test every one of these chemtrails, you're gonna find that there's some radar chemtrails, there's some global warming chemtrails, there's some cloud seeding chemtrails, and you're gonna start hearing more and more uh, of this stuff in the mainstream media. You know, so this article that starts out uh, making fun uh, of these wacko uh, chemtrail conspiracy theorist does nothing but validate validate the major point that these chemtrail conspiracy factists have been talking about for years. 
But uh, what I wanted to uh, do yesterday, but I didn't have time because I had to run off to that uh, to that bullshit JFK thing, is I wanted to find out who the hell this Redstone Arsenal was, and I didn't have to go any farther. They have their own Wikipedia page. Redstone Arsenal. Redstone Arsenal. Good God, guys. This place is scarier than I thought. Uh, I'm not going to go over uh, all of this. It was uh, originally a chemical weapons manufacturing facility for World War II. And uh, the arsenal became the focal point of the Army's rocket and space projects and about ballistic missiles and space. It's the usual culprits. Good Lord, you don't have to be a conspiracy theorist to go uh, look through this long involved uh, study of who the hell these evil bastards are. Good Lord, it goes on and on. All right, Redstone Arsenal today. I'll just read this uh, one paragraph. Redstone Arsenal remains, the meaning today, the center of testing, development, and doctrine. Isn't that a weird word? In testing, development, and doctrine for the Army's missile programs, besides the U.S. Army Material Command and the U.S. Army Aviation and Missile Life Cycle Management Command, Redstone today houses the tactical UAV uh, project office, the Redstone Test Center, the Missile Defense Agency, the Missile and Space Intelligence Center, and other operations. Other operations, only one of which was spraying a cloud of aluminum uh, all over, spraying a chemtrail of aluminum all over the citizens of Alabama. And, uh, but the bigger question I wanted to find out is exactly what the hell this, uh, military chaff, I don't know if this word is pronounced chaff or chaff, since it's FF, let's call it chaff. And so I Googled this. I Googled military chaff. And guys, there's all sorts of hits on this shit going back years and years. These conspiracy theorists, wackos, talking about this military chaff as one, as one of many uh, suspects. What, what is in these? Uh, but of course you're not going to find Associated Press or UPI or Reuters or the New York Times because not one mainstream media article has ever talked about this. So I ended up on some site, uh, at some little site out of Canada, Cloud Watching in Ottawa. Uh, this and this is from November of 2009, four years ago. These wackos. Uh, what is chaff? I wondered that as well. It is often offered up as the explanation, or I would say one of the explanations of the strange trails we see in the sky being the curious gal I am off I went to find out about chef and below it so then she goes on and I will put the link on uh, let's see what she found chaff and flares are defensive mechanisms employed from military aircraft to avoid detection and or attack by adversary air defense systems. Chaff consists of small fibers that reflect radar signals and there's not a big jump to go from there from radar signals to the sun and 
when dispensed in large quantities from aircraft form a cloud that temporarily hides the aircraft from radar t detection. I was doing a joke rant la last week how it could also, how it was hiding planet Nibiru. The two major types of military chaff in use are aluminum foil, which has been pretty much discontinued, and aluminum coated glass fibers. And so then she goes to directly to quote from the U.S. Air Force. This was four years ago. This is from the U.S. Air Force's site. I went to the uh, site she mentioned and of course now it is dead. It will not link up. But this is a verbatim quote from the U.S. Air Force four years ago. Alright. Quote. Chafe and flares are defensive countermeasures used on aircraft to confuse radar and heat-seeking missiles. Chaff is used as a decoy for radar-seeking missiles and is made of glass silicate fibers with an aluminum coating. The fibers are approximately 60% glass and 40% aluminum by weight. The typical Air Force RR-188 chaff bundle contains about 150 grams of chaff or about 5 million fibers. 5 million fibers. In, uh, in, in, in in one of these chem chemtrail canisters is what they're talking about. Uh, okay, this is remember from four years ago. The amount of chaff released worldwide by all of the services. What? I, you know, then you got to go into what does that mean? Worldwide by all of these chaff spraying services. Guys, this is not limited to Alabama. It is not limited to the U.S. This is a worldwide program by all of these. I love how they call them services. Services. Uh, this is an ongoing program that has gone planet-wide with a hell of a lot more people involved than Redlands Arsenal in Alabama. Okay, again, four years ago. This is verbatim from the U.S. Air Force. The amount of chaff released worldwide by all of these services is approximately 500 tons per year. Guys, that is a tiny drop in the bucket. They are just referring to the uh, RF-188. Where, there, where there's that going on, you had better believe, like this flock of chickens looking at me, all chemtrails are not military chaff. That is one explanation of, of every day. There's more and more explanations. And then... Again, from the U.S. Air Force, chaff falls to the earth at a settling velocity of approximately 30 centimeters per second. Uh, chaff fibers experience little breakup before hitting the ground. Guys, do you think that Monsanto was not reading this four years ago? You better damn well believe that Monsanto is, uh, is, re is coming up uh, with aluminum-resistant, uh, genetically modified seeds, for God's sake. They understand that worldwide, more and more, that 500 tons just being admitted by the U.S. Air Force.
just by the U.S. Air Force 500 tons four years ago. It is a hell of a lot more than any 500 tons. Pull your head out of your ass, guys. And, and, it, and it's more and more every year. And this is why, why I do not think that these chemtrails, these aluminum and barium and everything else, are, are, are a part of a depopulation program to kill us all. I do, uh, I have been saying as the eco-Nazi that I am, that all of this shit that they're spraying up in the skies from aluminum to barium to strontium to whatever else this shit they're spraying out there is, is falling to the ground and it will, it will unleash just the latest environmental ecological holocaust on this planet. It is one more, it is one more ingredient in the toxic soup that is being dumped on this planet by everybody from the U.S. Air Force uh, to, to good God Almighty. I, 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 don't get me going. And, uh, but thank you, live science and mainstream media for sounding just like one of us conspiracy factists as you laugh about the conspiracy theorist wackos. You have vindicated at least the chemtrail conspiracy factists like him on Little Tail and I, and I appreciate you mainstream media and I am gonna shut up this rant and come back at you with my Sunday doomsday sermon. Bye, guys.